All right, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen, in all its glory. Look at that. Okay, so let us let's go over the features of this fine product here. This is a aftermarket Wii nunchuck, and my cord. Don't you hate dangling cords when you're trying to film one-handed? Okay, so this started as a Wii nunchuck controller that normally plugs into a regular Wii controller. But this guy instead now has a Arduino Mini 328. Uh, it has a FTDI USB to serial, uh, or USB to jinky jinky card, or board. It has a... Um, Pickaxe 08M stuffed in there. It also has a uh, an RF unit, the cheapy ones, the five dollar RF units. A uh, RGB LED right there, and uh, and all of that is stuffed into this one uh, case. So um, the first thing we've got is via USB because um, this is the cord coming out <clears throat> via USB. I can send the Arduino command, like for instance, uh, capital J. Capital J turns on the joystick and this starts spitting out XY coordinates via the USB, <clears throat> which can then be read by my processing or anything else through that virtual COM port. Okay, and, and the same with T. If I send it a T, I get the tilt commands because this has the accelerometers in it, so that still works, um, as well as uh, these buttons. Now, um, and you can't see this with the camera, but that blue light is actually a blue-red fade to show you that it's uh, in sort of waiting mode. Now, if I hold both of these buttons down for two seconds, it now turns to green, okay? So now we're in pickaxe menu mode, and let me go ahead and do this real quick. Um, okay, turn the TV on. That'll make sense in a second. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, if I hit the top button, we now get a red light. And the red light basically means that I am now transmitting via the um, via RF radio frequency. So, And that is so... Uh, let's say I take Walter into a school and I need to walk him to the classroom. I'm not going to carry him. The thing weighs 35 kilos. So instead, <clears throat> I don't need a USB... I don't need USB, I just need 5 volts USB. So a little 5 volt regulator and a USB plug in my pocket gets me going, just for power. So basically now I have a standalone radio frequency transmitter in my hand. And I can just drive Walter around. Now if I hit the bottom button, we get a nice teal green color. And if you notice right there, we have an LED. Alright, and you can see that guy blinking. Alright. Which is kind of handy for controlling. Yeah, that would be a really bad hiding place. There's volume. Can you find Miss Martin's present? All right, and then we also have channel. Products that give too much. Turn your everyday activities into. And so I went ahead and threw a um, a uh, channel. Oh, that's the last channel. Sorry. Um, and then, uh, like I said, volume as well. So, uh, so there you go. There is the, um, there's the Wii remote. Um, and that is Walter's new remote control. Um, uh, I'm actually thinking about sticking a small... Uh, LCD screen up on a little frame, like up on a little stand, so I might have like an onboard LCD screen right there. I don't know. So, um, so there you go. There is the new Wii Remote, and I should get a nice proper post about how I built this thing up on Let's Make Robots.com very soon. Ting. Actually, a nice ting because it's you know I'm finally actually getting some uh, some projects done, and this was one of them. So. Um, there you go. Ding!